Ich möchte mir heute übrigens mal den Quick Release angucken von Asitec. Ich möchte sehen, was dieser Quick Release mit sich bringt von Asitec. Hallo everyone, mein Name ist Andre. I'm the founder and the CEO of Asitec. I'm here today to talk to you about something that I know a lot of you have awaited with great eager and some level of frustration uh, as well because uh, it was in fact back in uh, December of uh, 22 we, we showed this product but sometimes you can get killed in your own success and I think that's a little bit what uh, happened here. I'll try to explain to you uh, how all of this uh, came about and, and how it works. So for our standard wheel bases we get this part as a die cast piece of aluminum. We then machine it. Every single bit is up in a CNC machine. We CNC it mounted on our wheel base. Aluminium ist schon mal schön, ist kein Plastik. Dich gucke ich nicht an. Nein, nein, über dich rede ich gar nicht. Uh -uh. Base. And then we have the opposite side, which is what we use for our steering wheel, currently the, the Forte and the La Prima steering wheels. And then they uh, connect. So when we launched this system uh, last year, we saw some interest from uh, different uh, colleagues of ours in the same business. So the steering wheel manufacturers, the steering wheel OEMs. We also saw some interest from you guys, from the end users. But at the time we were like, okay, it's probably a, an idea and nothing else. So we took our existing part and then we CNC manufactured a tube like this. And then uh, we bolted the two pieces together. And then we had it in, in different length like this. And then we would sell it to the steering wheel partners or, or to you guys uh, directly. This is a very expensive piece because you use a big uh, solid billet block of aluminum. And then you drill it from both sides. And then when you are done CNC manufacturing this piece, then you put in this piece that's also CNC manufactured. So there's a lot of pieces and not very flexible. And uh, it became quite expensive. When we actually saw how big the interest is in this, uh, let's say, the ecosystem enabler, I pulled the trigger and said, stop. I actually made the decision, so you can blame me. We had these available. We can show you the, the garbage bin, how many we actually uh, threw away after they were made. But I didn't want to have different versions in the field. So that's what I put, uh, why I put things on hold. And then uh, we started from scratch designing it as a real product that's intended for, let's say, a higher volume. So Warum regt man sich jetzt darüber auf? Das habe ich nicht verstanden. Wenn jemand eine sinnvolle Entscheidung trifft, regen sie, okay. Das so what we will launch and sell uh, by the end of June is basically two versions of the same product. It's a quick release for our OEM partners, our steering wheel partners. We actually have 11 steering wheel partners on board that will now... Track Racer macht Steering Wheels? Ho. All work with our wheel bases. And then we will make almost the same version for the end user. And just to be very clear what that means, that means you will be able to buy steering wheels directly from these partners that will have native support for ACTEC SimSports wheel bases. This is how the product will look. As you can see, you will recognize our quick release for the wheel base like this. The other side will actually support the different uh, types of steering wheel patterns. So you will be able to mount your own steering wheel more or less independent of brand. For ich habe noch nie herausgefunden, wie Leute auf der Apple Watch so einen passiven Bildschirm hinkriegen. Meiner ist immer an. As long as they, they keep the standards. And then we will supply it as a kit. So you will actually have three lengths in the box. There will be a 80 mm, 150 mm and a 200 mm. You will have the flange. You will have the actual quick connect, you will have different screws, you will have three different Allen keys, so you will be able to assemble whatever length you want, but all three will be included in the kit. There will be a, a piece of wire, it will be attached uh, to a PCB, as you can see here. That uh, Mitzi, vorsichtig. Wire, you either connect to your uh, steering wheel and you have it on the outside, or you can actually put it on the inside if you prefer, so it's hidden. I can show you an example here. Here we have a, a Gomez uh, steering wheel where we mounted the 200 millimeter on. The wire goes from the steering wheel and into our quick connect and to the USB interface, the wireless USB interface. So if you attach this to, a, let's say, an Invicta wheelbase, it will then work directly with your PC. 
And if you wanted a smoother integration and you are up for it, you can of course cut the cable, put on a new connector and hide everything in here. Let's say you are the fortunate owner of this CSX two wheel from, uh, from uh, Cube Controls and you want uh, to make it fit to your new Invicta wheelbase. You decide the length that you want, then you bolt on the connector directly to the wheel and then you take the cable from the factory plug it into our connector, hide it inside if you want to, and then all of a sudden you have native support from a cube control steering wheel to, in this case, the Invicta wheelbase. We have built in a safety mechanism in our quick release so that when you have taken two, three rounds around the seat hanging onto your steering wheel, this will actually give up eventually. Because of that and, and because of the design in general, the 200 millimeter uh, shaft extension is the longest we support. If you start going beyond that, there is a risk you'll ruin both your wheel and your wheelbase. So that's why we have a max of, uh, of 200 millimeters. 200 is auch echt viel. Also es gibt wenig Menschen, die mehr machen, weil sie das Rick so weit nach hinten schieben. Aber das wird ja auch einfach winky wonky. Dann. What we can guarantee with this product is the USB connection. We have not tested all steering wheels on the planet. It's impossible. But we've tested a lot. That's also why we have been a little bit delayed. I think pretty much everything we tested actually works, but the actual compatibility is on you. That's just to make it clear, when you buy our third party quick release, we can guarantee the mechanical fit, we can guarantee the USB connection, but whether the steering wheel manufacturers follow the USB standards or not is unfortunately out of our hands. Speaking of which, if you just want a mechanical fit, you can of course remove the wire altogether and then you just have a mechanical quick release. There is an OEM version, as I said, as well. It's, uh, it's very close. If we just take uh, this example, the Asher wheel, what you can see here, it has a little bit uh, different color uh, because it's mounted from the inside. We didn't want to give you guys a product where you're required to take your very expensive steering wheel apart, but of course the wheel OEMs will have the possibility to do that. But elsewise, it's exactly the same part. Ooh, Another right. reason why we have faced this delay, we ordered a new... My tip for this cost it, uh, 130. New CNC machine. Unfortunately, it comes from Korea, so it's taken us two months just to get the machine. But that shows you we are committed to this. We just bought this machine only to manufacture these. So as I alluded to before, we just got the new machine today and what we have here is actually a future quick release head uh, that's just laying around here waiting to be a CNC machine. We started to produce a few uh, on the machine right behind me. The shortcoming uh, with this machine is actually the, the caliber of the bore is not big enough to take a complete rod of material. So we have to chop them up and then we have to machine one side, then we have to take it out, put it in the machine, machine the other side and uh, Number one, it involves human interaction. That's all. Ich finde das total schön, dass sie sich die Mühe machen, uns das alles zu erklären. Und das meine ich nicht ironisch. Das meine ich nicht ironisch, weil egal wie der Preis jetzt ist, man kann sich vorstellen, warum das dieses Geld kostet. Das finde ich gut. Always room for mistake. Number two is an expensive way of doing it because we need to have jetzt, an bitte. operator at the machine. And <coughs> as you can see, there's roughly 30-40% of the material that will actually go to waste. So the, the new machine uh, that we got, uh, as I said, just landed today. So let me just show you how that works. So the machine here uh, behind me literally just landed on our premises a few hours ago. And uh, it was not by design. It should have been here a month ago, but now it got here the day that we're shooting the video. So that's nice. What this machine is capable of is actually taking in an entire rod of uh, up to 100 millimeter, the aluminum rods that you saw before. It's not been mounted yet, but there is a feeder system. So it will just feed in a full rod. The machine will make uh, one side, machine one side of the, the quick release. It will cut it off. And then before it cuts off, the other uh, side will grab it. And then we will machine it from the other end. So when it comes out, uh, at least in theory, it should be ready for anodization. No human interaction, no uh, room for error. And most importantly, no, no waste. So. That's why we can manufacture stuff like this in Denmark, ensuring you guys the, the high quality and 
if you look at our entire quick release, with uh, very few exceptions, of course we don't make screws here at Acetec and, and things like that, but the entire quick release is actually made here in Denmark. The extrusion tool is made in Denmark, the extrusion is made in Denmark, the machining, uh, everything is made at our factory. Factory here in Denmark. And by this high degree of automation, that's one of the reasons we can do it. We will press the gas as hard as we can to make sure we keep the delivery date of, of late June. I think the good news here is a full kit consistent, consisting of essentially three different lengths enabling you to do all this will be a retail price of $149.99. That's is dafür, dass es in Dänemark produziert ist, ganz schön günstig. There's no such thing as global pricing, but to make it as close as we can, 149.99 euros, including sales tax in Europe, and outside Europe it will be 149.99 dollars, and then whatever tax, uh, local tax comes on top. So what we've also done is uh, we have made a bundle where you will actually be able to buy uh, four of these from our web shop or from our resellers, and then we will throw in one for free. So you pay for four, but you actually get five, meaning that you will have support for five different steering wheels for your wheelbases. I'm happy to say that although this has been a little bit delayed, uh, that we now come out with at least what I believe is a first in the sim racing world that you can buy uh, one wheelbase and you will have native support for, at, at this point in time, more than 11 steering wheel manufacturers. Plus you can use this um, adapter for your own steering wheel that you already bought and if everything goes well then you will have native USB support uh, as well. Also man könnte und das würde ich schön finden und ich vermute auch dass das kommen wird, weil man, jetzt momentan glaube ich ist das einfach nicht deren Prämisse. Äh, man muss nicht unbedingt drei Längen verschicken, weil dann spart man wieder ein bisschen Geld auf jeden Fall. Weil so hast du halt jetzt 149 Euro und nicht jeder braucht einen Schaft mit äh, 200 Millimeter. Ich denke, dass es da im Laufe der Zeit noch andere Bundles gibt, weil ich würde mal sagen, dadurch, dass das jetzt verschoben wurde, äh, haben die ganz großen Druck gehabt, dass das rauskommt, weil nicht jeder, der die Wheelbases kauft, einen Azitec Wheel fahren möchte. Und genau deswegen wird das wahrscheinlich jetzt einfach erstmal rausgepumpt, so gut wie es geht. Und dann später kommen nochmal andere Pakete, wie beispielsweise auch Tieren Victors in getrennt rausgekommen sind. Also ich nehme ganz stark an, dass das noch äh, passieren wird. Ansonsten, ich finde halt wirklich für 149 Euro, naja, das ist halt ein Top-Quick-Release. Also wenn man jetzt mal guckt, der GSI-Quick-Release kostet, wo ist er denn? Hier, der GSI... So, Leute, pass mal auf. Also jetzt mal wirklich Butter bei der Fische. Ne? Menschen regen sich über den Preis auf. Das hier ist der GSI Quick Release. Der kostet 249 Euro dafür. Das heißt nicht, dass er schlecht ist. Das möchte ich damit nicht sagen. Also ich möchte hier nicht die Qualität bewerten. Das Ding kostet 249 Euro. Und Menschen regen sich über 149 Euro auf. So, pass auf. Nächstes Ding. Ich glaube, aber einfach nur, äh, einfach nur, um da mal Relation zu setzen. Das hier ist der Simocube Release, der kostet 69 Euro. So, 9, 69 ist, also das ist jetzt nicht besonders was Krasses oder so, aber das Ding kostet 69 Euro. Da ist kein Schaft dabei und da sind bei weitem nicht drei Schäfte dabei und da ist kein USB mit drin verbaut und das ist auch nicht einfach, häng dein Ding da rein und dann ist es fertig. Also nur, um das mal in Relation zu setzen. Weil ich glaube, einige Menschen stellen sich, oder zumindest habe ich immer das Gefühl, die stellen sich das vor, als wenn das Zeug nur 2,50 Mark kostet. Nee, das kostet halt nicht 2,50 Mark, weil das halt einfach erstmal A, Entwicklungszeit ist, die lässt man sich natürlich auch bezahlen. B, ist die äh, Fabrikation, also ne, das Herstellen dieser Produkte. Und C, kostet das halt auch einfach Zeit, das Ganze zu machen. Und Zeit ist Geld und die wollen natürlich auch ein bisschen Geld verdienen. Also 149 Euro ist vollkommen fein. Was ich definitiv mit unterschreiben würde, ist, wenn jemand sagen würde, ich brauche nicht drei Verlängerungen. Sondern ich sage jetzt einfach, ey, ich würde, weiß ich, 10 mm oder so würden mir reichen. Da gehe ich vollkommen mit, dass man die einzeln kauft. Aber selbst dann, ne? Wenn wir jetzt, sagen wir mal, äh, gib mir mal kurz einen kleinen Moment. Ich suche das mal raus. Ja, hier, guck mal. So, dann nimmst du dir einfach nochmal eine Lenkradnabe dazu. Weiß ich, hier sind jetzt 6, äh, 76 mm. 
Äh, wir nehmen mal also bei denen. Obwohl, nee, das sind die nicht mal. Scheiße. Läuft das Ding unter Verlängerung? Verlängerung. Ja, guck mal hier. Hier sind die, hier sind die Verlängerungen. 101. So, dann bist du bei, hast du auch nochmal 36 Euro. Wenn du die jetzt nochmal 101 mm, sind wir immer noch nicht bei 20, ne? Und dann kannst du, sagen wir, wenn wir nur den Simo Cube äh, Quick Release nehmen würden, sind wir auch schon bei 100 Euro. So, und das ist aber auch nicht jeder, ne? Das dürft ihr alles immer nicht vergessen. Nicht jeder hat seine Wheelbase beispielsweise vorm Monitor oder hinter Monitor und zwischen Lenkrad und Wheelbase äh, ist denen das egal, dass wenn die beispielsweise mal schalten gegen den Monitor gegenhauen. Davon gibt es super viele Leute, die das machen, die so nah dran sind. So, und für die Leute ist das halt perfekt. Also der Preis, der ist absolut total in der Norm, wenn er nicht sogar für das, was man da kriegt, günstig ist. 149 Euro für drei Schäfte und ein Quick Release. Super Preis. 